Hi guys, I think, I think the next logical step in this progression is to show you how to color your illustrations. So as you can see right here, I've got this the, the, the line work done, all right? And I've used a combination of the pen tool, which we learned in the first video, and also I've used the pencil tool. So it, let me just show you the pencil tool. The pencil tool is right here, a keyboard shortcut. And once you get the pencil tool, you can just come in here and, and I'm gonna zoom in by holding my space bar and my, op, or my command key. And I'm on, a, I'm on a Mac, and that, and I'm going to click, and that shows me how to, that, that zooms in, shows me the, the, the work at a, at a closer uh, a closer look at, of the work. So what I can do here is it's just I can come in here, and let's see if I can find a line that I haven't already drawn. Um, okay, these little kind of paws. Okay, so we can come in here and just kind of draw these little paws right here. I think there's a couple of little, and I'm just going quick here, here guys. So there's a little paw there. There's a little paw there. Again, I think there's a couple paws here. Yep, there's a paw. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm just showing you how to use the pen tool. And then we're going to get this kind of mark in here too. Okay, so what I've shown you here is I've shown you how to, now disregard this. Like I said, I'm going really fast. You would, you would do the, you know, these little uh, overlapping lines, you want to be as careful as possible. So the reason I'm showing you this is I want to show you how to color this now. And we use a technique called live paint. Let me show you how that works. Okay, with my direct selection tool, I'm just going to select my artwork, right? Now, granted, uh, keep in mind that, that it's, this is set on a template layer. So if I go to my, and I showed you how to set up that template layer. We'll go to uh, my layer spell, you can see that's set up as a template layer. So that's locked down, right? So what I do is I can just select and I'll get the artwork, all the work that's on layer two. With that artwork selected, I'm going to go across the top menu. I'm going to find the word object and I'm going to come down and I'm going to find, um, up, 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 what is it? Uh, live paint. And when you see live paint, you're going to come over and click the word make. And that's going to turn this into a live paint group. Okay, now this is really neat, guys. Watch this. So we come in here, all right, and what we can do is this. I've come over, let me find my uh, swatches panel. Now, what I, I'm going to do is I'm just going to show these little swatches right here are pretty similar to some of these, right? So I just want to show you now what you would do. That quite often what I do is I go in and I'll sample colors out of the original illustration. So let me show you how I do that. I come in with my with my eyedropper tool right here, and I'll come in and I'll get that dark color right there. Okay. Once that dark color, I'll just come over here and I'll set that up, and it's just it's going to reside right there. So I didn't want to color that, so I'm going to Command Z that. I don't want my artwork selected while I do that. I'm just sampling colors out of the illustration. Okay. So again, I get that darker color there. Let's drag that right over. There it is. Let's get that lighter color there. We'll drag that over. Let's get that really light color there. We'll drag that over. And as you can see, I'm just picking up some, some samples. Now, what you want to do to get all of your color is, is when you're done coloring, you can separate the background from the image to make sure you have all your colors. I'll show you that in a second. At any rate, to start coloring, simply do this. Now, it's already defined as a, a live paint group, right? So if we go to the live paint tool, which is this tool right here, keyboard shortcut K, I come over here now, as you can see, as I hover over these different areas, as long as they're closed path, each one has the ability to hold a different color. Okay, so what I can theoretically do is let me zoom in here. And let's come over here and let's take a look at the face area, right? So I want this color, the darker beige for the face color. So I'm going to click off the artwork for now. And I'm going to load up that color. Okay, that color is now loaded up. I'll go back to the live paint tool and I can just come in here. And if I hold it over that section, it gets highlighted. That section will take color. This section will take color. That'll, that'll take color. That'll take color. That'll take color. And I think that's it. Then I can go to the darker brown. Let's even do a darker brown here. Okay. And we can come over here and we can select that area there, that area, that area. Let's select the main, this part of the main, and then the nose. Okay. Then we'll go to black and we'll get the nose area. Let's go to a darker brown, get that area right there for the ear. Okay, and you just continue going on. So we'll come over here, live paint. We have this color here, that's the lighter coming here. Okay, then this color here would be that middle color. Over here would be the lighter color. 
Okay, so let me just zoom out. Let me show you what's happening here. I'm going to turn off my template layer and let me show you what's happening. Look at that. Now we're really seeing how we can color this image. Now, remember, I told you before how I want to um, pull the background away a little bit so we can continue and maybe find if you get caught up, I would do this. I'll go like this. Let's go. Template layer, turn it back on. And what I'm going to do now is this. I'm going to take that, unlock that background layer, okay? And I want to be careful right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate that background layer, okay? There it is. There's the copy. Let's go to that, and I'm going to pull that away from the original. And then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to lock, I'm going to turn my original off. Okay, so there's the, the, the copy. There's the original. I'm going to turn that off. Now I can use the copy to come in and make sure that I can continue coloring according to um, what, what's in, in the actual original image. So I can see, okay, so that area down there, that's a darker brown. So we can select a darker brown for that area right there. And then the lighter brown for the rear leg. Okay, so do you see what I'm saying? And so on and so forth. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Wanted to do that right there. Okay, so as you can see, it's a really, really awesome technique to go ahead and color. Right? And that's how you color your work. It's a, it's, I think it's the most direct and easy way to color your work is to, to create um, it's a live paint proof. Okay, so... Uh, Again, again, guys, I worked really fast here, so you'll be really taking your time and 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 uh, getting your colors exact and really making sure your lines don't don't overlap. Make sure your lines are all very accurate. Okay, great, thank you.